What's up my Ninja Warriors? This is the Green Ninja Warrior 21 here. I'm going to be bringing you guys my week, what is this week? Um, I believe, yeah, this is bringing you guys my week 6 match versus Nick. Now this is, um, I think it's going to be a pretty good match. Is this a division match? I forget. Is it, is it even division? Wait, let me check. Never mind, never mind, it's not division match. It's still really important and I mean, I definitely want to win because if I win this then I'll be 5-1. and one. If I lose I'll be 4-2. And I'm actually going to be leaving for, um, actually no, by the time this video gets uploaded, um, it'll already be like a month after it happened, just because, like, I don't want, I don't really feel like I'm waiting for vacation, I just want to get there for it mostly, and just, as well, I guess, as a side thing. Although it might go up, it might go up, like, right before I leave for sleep, sleep boy camp. But basically, I won't be, uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to upload for, like, a month straight. Anyways, hopefully, we can end up defeating Nick. In week six, so his team—he's got a pretty nice team. Where is it here? Yeah, he's got Mega. What is it? Mega Latios, Necrozma, Tapacoco, Zoroark, Miss Magius, Embor, Tangrowth, Diance, Keldeo, um, Bonfan, uh, Golbat, and Alamomola. So he has—he has the dual Regen Core. He has a lot of bulk, a lot, a few Pokemon that could potentially be powerful. Also got some cool other cool stuff. It actually looks like uh, it kind of looks like an RU team. Not gonna lie, like half of the mods are actually legit or pretty interesting. I mean, I think it's still a solid team, solid team overall. And yeah, let's get into it. This. What am I doing? A regular showdown? What the heck? How can we X out of this? Okay, so I think I'm ready. Actually, I'm gonna just double check. Let me delete this. Okay, so first I'm gonna go over the team. Where is it? Here. So you got Mega Lopini with Power Punch, Return, Hydro Kick, and Fake Out. Now I was considering, I, w I was considering running Sub, but the thing is, I always have Tentacool as an immediate switch into um, Alamomola anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Alamomola also gives Hoopla Unbound the potential setup. Like, plus your Dark Pulse, ton of damage to that thing. In fact, I think Hoopla Unbound might might end up, might end up being the MVP. His team, I think Hoopla Unbound has like it has really good breaky breaking potential versus him. That's what I like about the Megalopony plus Hoopla and Down Core, because Megalopony destroys off more can destroy more offensive type of drafts. And then Hoopla and Down can basically tear through more bulky balance type drafts, such as like Nyx. As you can see, it's a more bulky team that who Hoopla and Bound loves going up against. He does have a Zoroark as well, which is really scary, because I don't wanna leave in my mon on something that I think I will, and then it turns out turns out to be Zoroark and I let a mon take damage that I don't need it to take. Or at least that I can't let it take in order to win the game. So we definitely, we're definitely going to play this carefully, and we're definitely going to have to have a really good game plan and definitely find, seek out our win cons and throughout the match. Since this is definitely, gonna, I think this, this might be one of one of my tougher matches. Definitely, since he does, he does have a lot of um good, scary stuff. He also has Z Coco. So if it's like, if it's like Guardian of Alola, that could be annoying, because if he, he, if he like, garden, Guardian of Alola's my Steel, Steelix on the Switch, that could be a teeny tad bit annoying. So, yeah. <laughs> and he also has Z Necrozma. I can make something real quick. How much does Z Prismatic la la Laser do? Slash Data Prismatic. I know, I know that one thing you can do with, like, Z Necrozma could be, like, Z Prismatic Laser, I think. Does he even do not- Oh, you look, see, look at, look at this. Z Power 200. And the thing about Z-moves is that they don't have secondary effects. So that means that if he uses like Z-Prismatic Laser, not only does he do 200 base damage, but he doesn't have to worry about the secondary effect of recharging the next turn. He can still use a move the following turn. Be amazing. So I could, I could definitely see him bringing that. Although I do have um, a... I do have a Dark type that is completely immune to pr Prismatic Laser. So I'm not as worried about that, because if I, if I literally go Hoopla and Down in the Prismatic Laser, it's literally immune, and he just wasted a base 200 power, power move, and I have Spidef Steelix, so I'm not as worried about, about that. Mecha Lottie could definitely be scary, depending on what type of set it is, and I think I am ready. But it, actually, no, 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 let me go over this. Wait, I forgot to- oh yeah, so I also have Rotom- phys physically- so I have um, Dual Dance, Lando, with Flying- Looking at his team, he doesn't really have any good Flying Resist, other than Coco, which has Earthquake. But I might be able to rock polish plus SD sleep potentially late game. We'll see. And we got um Fizz Death Rotor Heat, which helps to check Embor, helps the Volt Switch gain momentum versus Lilati. Stuff like that. And the Krosma. It's also got Will-O-Wisp, which is nice for like burning Pokemon such as Dawn Fan, even though I don't know if he'd stay in 
to take an overheat, but still, you never know. I guess burning that thing could be pretty cool, because then setting up on it would be a lot easier. And yeah, I think I'm gonna... Let's get into it. Okay, you can... Ah, this should be a fun match. This should definitely be a fun one. Ah, what is this? What even is this? Some, I think, I think it's just like some other draft going on right now on the, on the battle area server. What is body slam? Ooh. Dang. Okay, so. I'm definitely not using my NGMP and Mega Delay team. That would definitely not count. Using obviously this team. <laughs> Have fun. Okay, so looking at his team. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm pretty hyped for this. I he did bring the Diazzi, perfect. Now this is exactly why I'm running Nasty Pot plus HP Steel. Wait, what? I, I only have three Mons on a Mon? What does that even mean? What? What does that even mean? What does this sentence mean? Someone please translate that into the English language. I only have three Mons on a Mon? Oh, no, no, moves! Oh, he meant moves. Never mind. I'm, my bad. He meant moves. <laughs> I actually did that once. I, I, did that, I did that once last season. And then I ended up restarting. <laughs> so, yeah, um... Yeah, Hoopa and Bound can definitely destroy him. Hoopa and Bound is so... Hoopa and Bound is so well versus what he brought. Jesus. Does super well. If he, bring, if he goes hard Diancy, he, he also did not bring the Dawnfan. Great. So that means he probably rocks Diancy, which is easier to spin versus. Yeah, it, I can definitely spin easier because of that. Dawn Fan would have been annoying to spin versus because then because I'll take too, way too much damage from Earthquake from Dawn Fan's Earthquake, and I, I would have to pray for like a Scald Burn. Meaning I would have to let Monster take Rocks damage before being getting an opportunity to spin. I mean it could have been manageable, but still. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I'm a okay. <laughs> Real now. It's okay, man. Okay, it's okay, Nick. Don't worry. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Again, Hoopa and Bound has great potential versus him because I can knock this out. I can knock out Diancy. Helped it, and even if it's like Spit Death, it should still go down to Nasty Plot and to HP Steel. For sure. Especially with the modest nature, that thing is gonna get blown back. Like, who uses Focus Session? So, like, even if it does, like, live Moonblast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lead. I guess. It could be Rocks Necrozma, plus like, what, Trick Room Diancy? I don't know. Although Trick Room, wouldn't, Trick Room wouldn't really make much sense in his team. Although it could be off offensive Trick Room with like Life Orb Diancy, I'm not sure. I'm gonna keep opening though, because it's a pretty safe lead. I can fake out versus anything. It's Diancy, that's fine. I can just go hard for Felix. Yeah, because Felix is such an easy switch and it's like fine. And I want to get my Mega ASAP. Yeah, why not? I mean, it's not like I have a better. It's not like I have a better lead. I don't want to lead Rotom and have him lead like Lottie or like or or like Diancy or something that like scares me out. I'd rather just get off the Mega turn one. So yeah, let me. Oh, I need X out of this. Wait, wait. Excuse me. No. Okay, so he leads um Jamal the Necrozma. It's kind of funny how we both have both have a Pokemon named Jamal. I'm gonna fake out just to see what type of Necrozma this is. I wanna see whether whether it's offensive or defensive. Assuming he stays in. He can go hard goal bat to take the fake out better, but we'll, we'll see. As I'm gonna fire off I'm gonna fire off a fake out. It might be Rocky Helmet as well. That would be smart to to, to wear down my He actually did not bring that out of the Momola. Okay, cool. That means I don't I don't really have to worry about like some any like wish spam annoyances. Do we see leftovers? We do not. That's an 18%. Let me count this. 18%. Okay. 
So Lopini Mega, I believe I'm am I adamant? I think I'm adamant, right? 371, that's adamant, I believe. Lopini Mega. I don't know, I'm no no no, it's Jolly, it's Jolly. I'm Jolly, never mind. I'm Jolly, I forgot. Fake out versus Necrozma. Let's say it's um So let's say it's like zero speed death. And like he's max HP, so fake out does 16 to 20, so it's not max it's not max defense. What the offensive though, like Z move. What the HP bugs like a madman? I could go hard hoop on bound, but he could also T-wave. So I'm gonna go hard Steelix. Cause I'm Spadef, I take any hit he goes for. He moonlight he moonlights, which is fine. I'm okay with that. He can't really do much to Steelix. Yeah, there's literally nothing you can do to, to this mon with Necrozma. Literally nothing. He has to go like hard Golbat or something. <laughs> hey, Mises is right. It is Jamal versus Jamal. I'm going to get up rocks as he goes hard tank growth. Interesting. Maybe it's just to knock me off. He also did not bring Tapu Koko. So maybe it's like Xena Krasma or something. So I think I'm forced to go into... No, nah, I want to keep Loki healthy. That, that mod's important. I mean, hard Rotom's fine. I don't really care if he. I don't really care if he gets rid of my Rotom's item. Although he can also sleep powder, which would be fine. I don't think Rotom Heat being asleep is like too detrimental at all. Yeah, why not? I'll just go Rotom Heat. It's a nice pivot, regardless, as he just leads seeds. Okay, so he is 100%. I need to give the assault vest. Maybe he's more of a physically defensive set, potentially. It could be. It could be like Rocky Helmet Fizz Death for Loki, which would make a lot of sense. Like, that's very weak to hoop unbound. I, I really hope that HP Steel actually comes into play. That would be really sick. There's no way he actually expects HP Steel. There's no way. I don't even see how that's possible to expect HP, HP Steel. So the overheat is so obvious, and he's gonna, he's just gonna lose his tank growth if, if he stays in. What I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Volt Switch. Yeah, I'm gonna Volt Switch. I also don't want him to go Lottie Free. As he does go, he actually goes Diancy, that's fine. I'm just gonna Volt Switch. Kind of obvious he won't stay in. Okay, so now the play is... What is the play? I guess Lando and S. Now, what if he's like random, random like offensive HP ice? I mean, Tentacruel seems fine here. Because so I can throw off a Scald. And I eat up Earth Powers for days. As well as um, the fact that if he gets a Brass, I can Rapid Spin. Yeah, and I can also take a diamond storm. I can also take a diamond storm. Diamond storm. Oh my god, I can't even speak. I can also take a diamond storm if I have to. Excuse me. I'm gonna go hard dancey. I'm just gonna go dancey. This is fine. I mean, I'm gonna go tentacle. Cause I don't think he wants to take skull damage. He might though. Cause if I cheese spike, he's in a bad situation. Cause then, then Tango has to get poisoned. The Cross has to get poisoned. Tody has to get poisoned. Like he hasn't. He does have the default potential on Crobat though. I'm gonna scald. I'm just gonna scald. I mean, if you're my opponent. What would you do? Or Lottie? Maybe. And you could just be special Lottie. Actually, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna T spike. Yeah, I'm gonna T spike actually. Like, okay, he, he stays in, which is fine. As, oh, I'm sorry, bro. Sorry. So unfortunately, he actually misses Diamond Storm. We're done a decent amount. Okay, so. Tentacruel. Okay, so that would've, that would've how much? Um, Diancy. Diamond Storm would've done... Okay, let's say, um, zero defense. Zero defense. So it would've done 42 to 49. That sucks. Damn, that actually sucks. Uh, that's really bad. I'm sorry. My bad. I actually feel really bad for him. That, oh, that's so bad for him. If I go hard steel, if I go hard steel, he gets a Brox anyways. Eh. I'm gonna scald. I'm gonna scald as I get a. I'm able to do 32% as he finally gets off the Diamond Storm damage on me. Okay, so that confirms he is defensive and not offensive. 
Yeah, so th that means he can't be offensive Diancy, and weakening weakening Diancy is huge for um, Hoopa and Bound. Although I kind of want to keep this for Gaudio, so yeah, I, def I definitely need it for that. I'm gonna go hard Steelix, cause I want to keep this healthy, and I know no I know another spell won't knock me out. As he actually doubles into Necrozma, so that's great. So I get, I, I get basically, I basically get to poison Necrozma for free. Although I guess it's smart of him to, because that means he can't, that means he can't get badly poisoned, which I guess is nice for him. I don't know if it's um, I don't know if it's Z move Necrozma. I don't know if it's um, defensive of rocks. Maybe Diancy was rocks. It was probably rock, it was probably rocks Diancy though. So it's like maybe offensive Necrozma. I'm not sure. It could be. I mean, it could also be Calm Mind Iron Defense. Set. So I think the play here is just this heavy. I think I, to, I think the play is the heavy slam. Because there's nothing you can do to knock to knock me out. I'm spadef. I can't eat, eat anything from this thing. But I have to. So I'm gonna heavy slam. As yes, he doubles in the Caudio. Interesting. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna get some nice heavy slam damage off. Perfect. I'll definitely take heavy slam damage from Caudio. So that just means that that because that just means that I'm basically able to weaken Caudio for a Hoopa Unbound. Really looking like Hoopa Unbound is gonna sweep. Already we can Diancy, which doesn't really matter because I had HP steel, HP steel anyway. Also, Keldeo, which is like the only he really has to hoop unbound. So yeah, things are looking pretty nice. I'm gonna go with hard Tentacruel. If he HP Electrics, good play. I'm still going Tentacruel. He could also double, I don't know, or just try to get damage off. Okay, so what's he gonna do? He might just scald, cause he knows that I don't, I don't, that I don't really have any good Caldeo switchins, other than Tentacruel. I don't know if it's Scarf Caldeo or not. We'll see. I can also definitely sweep him with Endurus as well. Yeah, cause if I, if I can get like, if I can like get rid of, if I can get rid of Golbat, then I just, I think I just auto win with. Landorus. Yeah, he's, if, he, if he loses Crobat, I mean, not Crobat, I mean, if he loses, if he loses Golbat, then he, or lets it take too much damage, then that could be really good for my Rock Polish Landorus. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Tentacruel here. I guess he could double, but I don't really have another play. So, yeah. Okay, um, he makes his move, etc. As he does, okay, maybe as he makes a very nice double on the goal bat, predicting, okay, that's a nice play in this part, but however, I can knock, and if I knock, then that just, that just makes him that much weaker to, um, Landorus, and he's probably gonna defog anyway, so I can knock him off. He's probably gonna he's probably gonna defog first. And with um Golbat's of Violet gone and with Keldeo poisoned, things are really looking bad for him once I rock polish, yeah. Perfect. Hmm, so I could T spike again. He as he's actually faster, okay. Or no hmm. Wait, choice scarf. Oh, it was scarf Golbat. <laughs> and I was it Oh my god, Scarf Golbat, are you kidding me? <laughs> Scarf Golbat. So this thing was actually never even that bulky to begin with. So I'm gonna go hard Steelix. Cause I don't want the I don't want um Tentacruel getting weakened anymore by the by like Brave Bird. Because then I truly have nothing for Toadio, even though it's poisoned. I'm gonna get up rocks here. No reason not to. It's the best possible play. Not much he can do to me. I am Spadef Steelix. As he Dark Pulses, please don't flinch me. Thank you. As that Dark Pulse does no damage. Because I can easily get on my rocks. So yeah. Okay. See, I don't want to risk Hoopa Unbound on like a random HP bug. I don't want to do that. So I'm, I think I'm just gonna Heavy Slam again. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have I'm gonna heavy slam. As he goes, um, hard tank growth, which is fine. Do we? Does he have the Does he have the Rocky helmet? Leftovers? Oh no, leftovers. Interesting. I mean, it's definitely Fizz Death though, because it's taking so little damage from Heavy Slam, as well as just whatever attack it took earlier. Yeah. No, it was. I didn't. Even, I didn't even get damage on it. Never mind. I, I didn't even get damage on it later, did I? Yeah. I never. I never. I never even got damage on it. Never mind. Never mind. So I'm gonna go hard Rotom. It's the best possible play. I don't care if you sleep hard. It's, it's the. It's still the mod that I want to switch into. Ingrowth 100% of the time. Switch with it. I think I'm just gonna overheat. I think I'm gonna overheat this time around. Because the thing is, like, Dancy is low. So I don't really mind Dancy coming in at this point, whereas before I actually didn't, I wanted to prevent it from coming in. And if he goes Lottie, I still have um, Steel Steelix at near full. So I'm gonna overheat. As he's probably gonna sack Dancy, which is fine. I wanna, ah, I wanna Volt Switch so badly predict, predict, predict the Dancy sack. But I don't, I don't feel like I need to make that play. And I feel it's unnecessary, too aggressive. I'm gonna overheat here. He does, yeah, that was obvious. I mean, I did, I did expect that, but it's fine. It was the, it was definitely the optimal play. Um, I don't want to risk it being like some random max speed Diancy. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do is just go hard Steelix, which can take on this Diancy. As he does go for the heal bow. Okay, okay, okay. So, so that's why he didn't defog earlier, because he felt like he could. Um, healable anyways, I guess. That's definitely good for my opponent. For sure. AKA Nick. Although, Keldeo is almost a half, which is nice. Upa on Bound plus Land Landorus is looking more and more threatening. As I'm just gonna fire off a Heavy Slam. As he Earth Powers, which is fine. As he, is, as he does get a bit of an annoying crit, which is fine. As I am able to knock him out with the Heavy Slam, as we do see the Babiri Berry. Oh, wow. Interesting. So, that means if I actually went for the Nasty Plot into HP Steel earlier on, he would have lived He would have lived with the Babiri Berry, I believe. Oh, wow. That was definitely cool prep on his part, for sure. Really cool to see that. Well, I'm going to go back and roll, back and roll him Heat. It is my only real switch into this Pokemon. And I don't, I don't really need it healthy for anything else on his team. It's like the only mon that Rotom Heat really beats at this point would be Tangrowth and maybe even that, but Golbat isn't really a threat anymore. So I can just go hard Rotom Heat. As he just goes for the Leech Seed yet again. As I mean, I don't really lose much by overheating at all. I lose barely anything. Even if he goes Latios, that's fine. I'm still gonna overheat. That's fine. Do I connect? I do actually connect. As the, it does 21%. So let me th let me think. It could be Calm Mind Megalodios. It could be um, Dragon Dance Megalodios. Which one is the most threatening though? I think Dragon Dance is the most th threatening. Which makes me want to stay in a world of Huh. What to do? What to do? What to do? I think Harden to Harden to Steelix is fine. Huh. Well, what do I do? Uh, the thing is, like, I kind of need Steelix for Necrozma, because I'm not really, because Necrozma is low and dies to Hoop Unbound anyways. Yeah, I think I think at this point. Steelix actually isn't that useful anymore. But I'm gonna go hard Steelix. Uh, he, has, he actually makes it the double into Tangrowth, so maybe he doesn't have Dragon Dance. Or he. I'm surprised he didn't drop a Draco. Or just use. I mean, use Draco Meteor, because, like. I, I didn't really. I didn't really have a switch into that. But okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take that double. Okay. I could stay into Toxic. This mod is really annoying. I think I'm just gonna go back into Rotom. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back into Rotom though. Because I still wanna keep Steelix. 
like Lottie, I think. I'm going back into Rotom. Cause I don't want I don't want Steelix taking like a huge hit or something. See, I could have toxic there, but I, I didn't I didn't know whether he leaves it or not, or whether he's sleep powder. Hard, hard to tell. I mean I can just overheat again. No re no reason not to. He's not he's not staying in, but who cares? I don't really care if he goes back into Latios. Or if he goes to Taudio or whatever. Really mind that either. As he goes into Necrozma, please hit. As we are able to connect the overheat the, the overheat on the Necrozma. As Necrozma actually living the overheat. Wait, shoot, I misclicked. Crap. I actually misclicked, shoot. I didn't wait, I didn't even click will o -Wisp. What the heck? I swear I did I swear I didn't click will o -Wisp. Oh well. I mean, it wasn't a bad play regardless, but still, it was annoying that I didn't even make that play. That's a really, that's a really bulky Necrozma then. I'm gonna switch. Hmm. As I do get a crit, um, I'm just gonna go back into Steelix though. Since St Steelix should be able to wall this Necrozma. As he moonlights again. As I think this is where I re where I where I reveal toxic. Because he's gonna expect heavy slam. So he's either staying in, staying in, or going Tangrowth most likely. So I can easily toxic. Yeah. This, this, I think now is the time to toxic. Please don't flinch me. Thank. Oh no! Not. <laughs> I spoke too soon. I definitely spoke too soon. <laughs> Actually, it might be cold. What if it's cold? Wait. What if it's Colbert and Necrozma with T-Wave? That could be annoying. If it's Colbert Berry with T-Wave. Uh, right, I'm gonna try to Toxic again. Please don't! No! No! Thank you! Jesus. Okay. So fortunately, we are able to poison the Necrozma. Nice. Perfect. Absolutely. Now here, I think the play is to sack this. Actually, now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go a hard Rotom and Pain Split. Yeah, that's that's fine. I'm gonna go hard Rotom Heat because I can live a Dark Pulse or whatever, and then I can Pain Split all my health back, or at least most of it, most of it. So I'm gonna go right for the Pain Split just to recover some health back to take on the Tangrel a bit easier. As he goes hard Latios, which is fine. I mean, I do get health back, which is cool. And I think this is where I sack Steelix. Yeah. Not like I have a switch in anyways. And I don't, don't want to lose Rotom. That makes Tangrowth, Tangrowth a bit, bit more annoying. Even though I have Super Sconic Sky Strike, and he actually has no actual switch-ins to Super Sconic Sky Strike. So I'm gonna sack Steelix. As he Mega Evolves, goes for what? Goes right for the recover. Okay, so he's playing it safe. Now I am spit death, so I might be able to live. Let me check. Steelix. Although if he has like hidden power or something. Latios Mega. Latios Mega. So it's a 2 for 2 spa, 2 for 2 spa, how much is Draco, how much is Draco, Draco, like, okay, so if I'm Spadef, careful, Spadef, careful, okay, so I, I, I died a Draco, and I also died a HP Fire, so I have to, I have to, I have to sack off Skeletz, unfortunately, I'm sorry. Sorry, Steelix. I don't have another. I don't have another play. I have to sack you off. I am sorry, bro. So I couldn't keep you. I couldn't. I could physically not keep you. I'm gonna toxic. As yes, he switches. Wow, I'm surprised he went Keldeo. Wow. As I actually miss. Oh no. Oh, I mean, I, it's Pokemon. I'm not surprised I missed. It's Pokemon. It's whatever. I'm not surprised at, at all. Wouldn't have, wouldn't have expected less from the move Toxic. Why is he switched though? Maybe he didn't have Draco or HP Fire. But then what the heck would his Latios be? Maybe it, maybe it is Dragon Dance. 
Well, if it is, I'm, then I'm gonna have to rock polish before it's too late. And before it gets too scary. So I'm gonna go hard tentacle here. As he doubles in the Tangrowth. Okay. Now I could now I could stay into T Spike, but I don't think it's worth it. it really isn't. I'm just gonna go hard um back in the world. I don't wanna, I need it. I still need this Pokemon. I'm gonna go hard Rotom Heat. I don't care if it doubles. This is still the play to make. Okay, the, as unfortunately he actually misses Leaf Seed. I mean I mean he missed Leaf Seed, I miss Toxic. Yeah. What can you say? It's Pokemon. Never expecting anything less. I'm actually gonna throw off a will o wisp just in case it's physical Latios, and he actually wants to go into that thing. So I'm gonna throw off a will o wisp Okay, so this, if this is physical Latios, it's gonna be huge. If this is physical, this could be huge to be able to burn this. And if it's special, that's fine. I, I, can, I can probably deal with special Latios, especially with my Hoopa Unbound, with my 304, with my 304 defense, Spideff. As I'm gonna sack off Skeelix. Recovers yet again. What type of Latios are you? Calm mind. What type of Latios are you? I'm really curious. I'm going to heavy slam you. Is it? I don't know if it's physical or special. Cause I, I ended up fighting him twice in the previous league, and he used he used Dragon Dance Latios both times. It is special. Okay, that's really good info though. And that heavy that heavy slam did nothing. Huh. And I don't have Roar. Okay. <sighs> Do I stack Koopa Unbound? I don't know. Huh. I'm trying to think. So it's probably two attacks. What, what, what would it be? Psyshock Draco? Or Dragon Pulse? I'm not sure. Don't want to go hard Lopini either. He should recover, right? Actually, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna go hard hoop. I'm gonna go hard hoop unbound, cause he should recover. Because if he, if he doesn't recover this turn, then he puts him, he puts himself in range of fake out into return for no actual reason. So he should he should recover, and I can probably live a plus one Draco. Yeah, this this is fine. Yeah, yeah, I live right. Bound. Yeah. Adios. 252 Spa. Draco. Draco Meteor. Versus Hoop Unbound. So I am Specs. Draco does a lot but to my spread. Okay, so anything goes. How much bulk do I have? So I have 32 spidef. Okay, 32 spidef. Okay, so actually I might die. Oh no, I might actually die to this. Ooh, this might knock me out. But the thing is, if he Dracos. What? I am playing the match. Hello. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna stay in though. Cause if he Dracos, actually I'm gonna go hard Steelix. Cause you won't call mine again. And then like, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna Dark Pulse. Okay, if he knocks me out with Draco, that's a bit annoying. But then I can go back and I can go into Lopini and Fake out into Return him, and then put him in range of like whatever else. I'm gonna Dark Pulse. As he switches into Keldeo, perfect. Is I'm gonna go a hard tentacruel. Now, now Caudio is almost dead. That's huge for that's huge for Hoop Unbound. I guess, he, I guess my opponent just didn't. I guess um Nick just didn't want to risk missing Draco Meteor. Or maybe he had Dragon Pulse instead. I'm not sure. Or maybe he didn't. He didn't even have Draco Meteor. Maybe maybe it was just Dragon Pulse. I don't know. Not sure.
Okay, so now I'm gonna go Tentacruel. Oh yeah, shout out, shout out to Glitch, Glitch X City for the music, by the way. Yeah, as, as Secret, Secret Sword is gonna do very minimal damage. Probably not Specs, because I only did like 28 to Spadef. Um, Spadef from Tentacruel. As, I'm just gonna T-Spike, I think. If he goes Gold Bat, that's fine. As he is, he is Secret Swords again, which is fine. I'm not gonna Scald now. I have no reason. I have no reason not to, not to Scald. As I mean, I'm I'm okay with this. As I'm I'm gonna be able to knock out the Keldeo with Scald. Perfect. So now he has now he has like barely anything barely anything for Hoop Unbound. As he goes into um Golbat, I'm gonna What's he gonna do? Defog. Do I just go for game right now? Versus Golbat? I might as well. I might as well go for game, why not? Yeah, I'm gonna go for game. I'm going hard Landorus. On the defog, and I'm gonna rock polish, I think. Should be fine. As he goes hard Tangrowth, okay. So it is Leech Seed. Let me, let me count this real quick. Okay, so... Tangrowth. Okay, so... Landorus... Arian. Power Ice is 70 to 84. So I shouldn't die to... I shouldn't die to, um... HP Ice. Do I... Actually, if I Z-move, then he just goes... But then he just goes Latios. There's plus two fly kill. It should kill, right? The plus two. Yeah, it, it kills. What, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna SD. Because he can't knock me out. He cannot knock me out with HP Ice. Yup, exactly. Because I can knock him out with a fly. Knock out Latios with a Z-move. Knock out Golbat with the fly. And then knock out Necrozma with EQ. So yeah, I'm gonna fly. Hopefully I do connect. <laughs> Z Sledge Wave. That would have hit nothing other than Tink. Not helped at all. Do we connect? Come on. 95%. 95%. Wow. Nice ghost. Nah. As I miss, no! Oh well, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's a butt annoying. That's a teensy bit annoying. Still, I think I still win though with Hoop Unbound. Because his, his, his way of being Hoop Unbound is forfeiting. Yeah, he has nothing. He has nothing for Hoop Unbound, so I don't know why the chat's going crazy. I guess it kind of hurts my differential. <laughs> Didn't matter that old code, but okay. <laughs> Didn't matter. I'm gonna go Hoopa Unbound, and I'm gonna go- I think I'm just gonna go for game, I mean... There's not much he can do to me, is there? He can Leech Seed, but that- he, The best thing he can do is Leech Seed, or not. I'm gonna- I'm gonna Nasty Plot. As he goes Golbat, perfect. I think I'll speed this. Actually, I might not- I might not know speed if he's max speed. Crap. If he's max speed, actually, if he's max speed, I die. Shoot. Felix. Oh no. Yeah, I should Dark Pulse. Okay, U turns. Okay, so like. This is a tad, this is a tad bit annoying. Koopa U, we banned season 3. Yeah, because it's so good. Yeah, sure. Good one. Good meme. <laughs> so I'm gonna get up rocks. As he does not flinch me. Okay.
Okay, so now I can just heavy slam, I think. Or go hard. There's no, re there's no reason to go hard with going down, though. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna heavy slam. As, I, I, as I'm able to get off e a bit of chip on the Krasma. Um, I actually want to keep this for differential. I want to keep this for differential, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go hard low for me because I don't think it'll Psychic. Actually... Nah, I'll just go hard Rotom. Go hard Rotom. But then he can like then he can calm mind. But then I just vote into Lopen he fake out into return and then he can't win. Yeah, this game should hopefully be over. Yeah, that's fine. I mean I can just vote switch I think. I don't care if he stays in. It's out perfect. I get a free dark pulse. Yeah, I can just dark pulse. As he will, he should, he should lose a Pokemon here. Oh my god. <laughs> As he goes, he sacks Golbat, which is fine. Goodbye, Golbat. Rocks are here to stay. Every Mon dies to um, Poopa Unbound. Actually, I do not want to risk a max speed HP bug in a crossbow. I'm going hard. Actually, no, no, I'll go hard, Rotom. Yes? Hard, hard, hard Rotom is still fine. As X Scissor, ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> that would have O code. As I can just bull switch. As he stays in, he stays in, which is fine. I'm gonna go Lopany because he. I don't think he has a move. I don't think he actually has a move to touch Lopany. So I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna go hard into it. As he moonlights. It's gonna fake out. As I can now knock him out with the return. Nice. As all I have to do is all I have to do is um he goes um tank girl, which is fine. I can just go back in a rotom heat. As he leech seeds. As I mean I can just overheat, which is fine. I don't care if he goes hard Latios or 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 if he stays in. I think I think overheating overheating is still fine. As I'm able to knock I'm able to knock out the Tang Growth. Nice. As I mean literally all I have to do is Vol switch here and I think I'll win by Vol switching. As I can now go into uh Hoopa and Bound and put Dark Pulse and I think win the game. As he ends up forfeiting, okay, so that so we are able to pick up the 5-0 victory versus Nick. This is why you don't draft super bulky teams and because you're just gonna come across a Hoopa Unbound. Although I guess if you're gonna ban Hoopa Unbound, that's fine. I mean there are other Pokemon that destroy that just destroy balance. <laughs> yeah, I mean literally all you had to do is draft like a you could have brought Tapu Coco with U-turn. You ask to lose, although I guess with Kodio. Hey, thank you. I had HP steel on this, by the way, with nasty plot. <laughs> I was really prepared to sweep a Fubon bound. Hey. Okay, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys enjoy my draft league um, videos in general, make sure to go ahead, smash that like button, and I will see you guys next time.